How are you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for HabitsUnplugged.com. Uh, today's video is about the benefits of any negative habit. You know, why do we uh, continue to do um, a habit which is bringing us either um, short-term or long-term negativity? Usually, it's it's long-term. You know, usually we we feel like we're getting something out of it uh, in the short term. You know, even if it's biting your nails or smoking a cigarette or um, taking a drink. You know, you know uh, with a lot of these things that it's inherently there's no real value to you uh, from a basic level, but we still do them. So we must do them for a reason. You know, a lot of these reasons are, there are a lot of biases that we have, confirmation bias, um, there's other biases that we have which contribute to our understanding or lack of understanding about our own habits. So, um, you know, we're all the time convincing ourselves that we're doing this for a reason, you know, or we just don't give them any thought at all. Um, I've just done a video over on our sister website, uh, Alcohol Mastery, um, about the benefits of drinking and to get you to think about the benefits of drinking. So if you want a really specific example, go over to that website and you can um, have a look at that. But for this one, you know, let's look at smoking, for instance. Why, what is the benefit of, or what are the benefits of smoking? Um, you know, it's, smoking is one of those things that most people know is inherently bad for you. It's got nothing good to offer in terms of, you know, you, your chances of, of getting lung cancer, for instance, are massively increased if you smoke cigarettes. You know, emphysema, um, there's uh, all kinds of pulmonary conditions that you can get. And, there's, and that's not just I mean, the, the diseases that you can uh, you can get through smoking. They're not just restricted to the lungs. You know, it can you can get throat and esophageal cancer, mouth cancer. You can um, you know it can affect your blood because the all these toxins are going through your blood. Same thing with your liver. You can uh, you can get different conditions um in your liver because of smoking so you know and wherever you smoke now it's it's not good for you you know there's um you have to be you're kicked out in most places you're not allowed to smoke inside there's even some places in the world where you're not allowed to smoke outside in certain parks and areas where other people are congregating so why do it why do people continue to do it now i smoked for a long time and um i always thought that it was lovely to have a cigarette after my dinner you know uh, and it was associated with winding down digestion whatever you know um, it's the same thing with I used to smoke when I was on a telephone conversation or um, I'd smoke when I got out of work or you know there's a lot of different situations where I would smoke but it's a continuous cycle throughout the day so you know with alcohol you most people tend to drink towards the end of the day whereas with cigarette smoking people will drink uh, from the first time they get up in the morning until uh, they go to bed at night so it's just that continuous cycle so the main thing is not to hide from um from these benefits you know from from seeking out these benefits you know to to literally dig into yourself a lot of people say well you know if i'm trying to stop doing something the last thing i want to do is to be thinking about the positives of the habit Right, why I should be doing it or why I am doing it. But it's the opposite. I mean, because with something like, you already know why you want to stop. You know, you already know all about all the negatives. But the reason to think about the positives is, um, A, because a lot of the time you don't understand what the positives are, why you're doing it. Um, or you, you know, as, as I said with the cigarettes, you, know, you think about things from the perspective of generalizations. I do it in a, at a certain time, therefore it's associated with a certain time. Finishing work, for instance, or finishing my dinner is associated with digesting the, the food. It's associated with relaxing. It's associated with stress relief. I never got that with cigarettes, but that's what I always associate it with as well. You know, if you were stressed, you'd have a cigarette and whatever the cigarette, the smoke did to your system, it helped to relieve stress, but does it really do that? You know, and you. This is why you have to really think about the benefits. Um, another reason is because once you start thinking about the benefits, then you, um, 
you can find alternatives once you can specify exactly why you know even if you can't get down to the to the to the really deep specifics once you can say to yourself well i smoke to relax i drink to relax i pick my nose when i'm feeling uh stressed out i bite my nails when i'm feeling stressed out then you can start to understand um that you you will start to understand you can start to see things from a different perspective and you can start to look for alternatives and generally you'll find that there are much better healthier alternatives than things that will genuinely help you to relax um or to socialize or to do whatever it is that you're you're talking about doing you know a lot of the reasons why people don't do these things um, and don't put the effort into creating something new and to uh um, to finding an alternative way of doing things, uh, you know, an alternative to the benefits, is because it takes effort, uh, and people don't want to put the effort in. They want to go back to the same old, same old. But that's how you get a shitty life, you know, doing the same old, same old stuff that is causing you discomfort and causing you problems and causing you health issues. These are the things that you've got to stop and you've got to address. The more they carry on, not only do the the, the consequences of those things exacerbate, but your ability to deal with those things diminishes because you know you your confidence levels fall. You, you know there's all sorts of things that happen and um, that stops you from doing it. So let me know in the comments below what kind of habits you have and um, what benefits you find to these habits. Um, take care of yourself. Bye now.